This is the Yale Assure Lock 2 Plus. It can be opened with home key, meaning you just tap your iPhone or your Apple Watch to the lock and it unlocks magically. It's awesome. It's one of my favorite locks with home key and also the most confusing to buy, but we'll get to that in a second. This lock has a built-in touch keypad. It can be unlocked with home key. You can have Bluetooth and or Wi-Fi connectivity, it runs on four AA batteries. It is super easy to install and it's about $200. Comes in two colors, black suede and satin nickel. And if you like a numeric keypad on your lock and you want home key with your Apple devices, I think this is the lock to get. And while it doesn't have a physical key backup, it does have nine volt battery contacts on the outside. So if the batteries ever die, just hold a nine volt battery to those bottom prongs and you can still unlock your door. Now I've changed a few smart locks out in my house and I have to say installation is pretty simple. Yale gives you all the parts you need and step-by-step -step instructions on replacing your current door lock. I was able to swap it out in about 20 minutes. I also changed the strike plate on the door jam. I actually found the Yale strike plate had a little more room around the deadbolt so it didn't get caught as easily. I installed this on a rear exterior door going out to my patio and you do kind of have to hold the door shut in order for it to lock. So having that little extra space in the deadbolt hole really helped. Swap out the deadbolt, put the keypad on the outside, install the interior side and you're ready to go. Pairing is also simple. There's actually two QR codes on the lock. One connects it to the Yale app and there's a dedicated HomeKit code so you can add it to the Home app. And again, works with HomeKey. And when it comes to design, I really like this sleek and kind of low profile design. Again, it doesn't have a physical keyhole, but that makes the whole exterior module much smaller. It matches great with my black door handle. Everything is just black and you actually touch the Yale logo to enable the keypad and that's when it lights up. The part that goes on the inside of the door is also smaller than a lot of other smart locks like the Akara U100. So it doesn't feel like as much of a protrusion inside the house. Now, when it comes to usage, again, I love having a numeric keypad, especially when you have kids who may not have their own devices or physical keys, having that numeric keypad makes it easy for them to get in and out. And if for some reason you don't have your iPhone or your Apple Watch is charging inside, again, works great with home key, both on the Apple Watch and the iPhone. And of course you can unlock it with the Yale app or the home app. Now, whether or not you can open it remotely depends on the Yale app or home app versus Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Again, I'll get into the buying options in just a second, but if you want remote access, no matter what, even in the Yale app, you might want to get the Wi-Fi module edition, which is really nice because you can actually buy that Wi-Fi module after you buy the lock and install it separately. Upgradable hardware after you purchase. That's pretty nice. Again, this version has no physical key backup, but has that nine volt battery connection on the outside if the double A's inside ever die. It unlocks fairly quickly and has a nice little chime that sounds once it's successfully unlocked. You can turn off all the sounds in the Yale app and I'll show you that in a moment. Using the touch keypad also has a nice little sound every time you press a number so you can be sure you pressed it. And I did find the sensitivity is okay, but not great. Sometimes I would have false positives or it wouldn't read that I actually tapped the number. Again, mostly I'm using home key, so I don't mind if the touch screen is a little flaky at time. It's just sometimes you have to tap twice and make sure the light blinks a little bit so it knows you actually tap that number. And if you wanna lock the lock, Tap the Yale logo at the very top. That actually acts as the lock button and that actually acts as the wake button as well to put in your numeric passcode. Now the version I got was Bluetooth only. There's no Wi-Fi, So you can't actually use the Yale app when you're far away from the lock. You'll see here in the Yale app, it will try to connect, but I'm a little too far away. I'm out of Bluetooth range and I don't have the Wi-Fi module. But the benefit of adding it to the HomeKit app is I actually do have remote access and I can still control it here in the Home app because it's connected to my HomePods and other devices via Bluetooth. And then once it's in HomeKit, you can also share those Home keys and give access to other trusted contacts. I found the status in HomeKit to be a little slow to respond. I'll lock the door and this will take a few seconds to actually show that it's locked, but it eventually gets there. And like I said, HomeKey has worked every time. It's been really reliable. I hold up my watch, hold up my phone, and it responds faster than the Akara U100 that I tested previously. So if home key is what you're looking for, this is a great option. One negative, and this might be a bug, is once you add a lock, you should be able to have pin codes per user that you actually manage here in the home app. I can go to myself or any other user in the home, and you can add a personal access code number here. But strangely, the Yale lock didn't take that until I programmed it directly into the Yale app. To do that, you have to go to the Yale app, go to the users tab, and then you can add yourself and anyone else you would like, and then add individual passcodes per user. You need to turn entry code on and then put in the numeric passcode you wanna to use to unlock. It has to be at least six digits. Again, comparing that to the Akara U100, that one actually took the access codes directly from the home app. I didn't have to add any directly to the Akara app. So again, this might be a bug, Maybe it'll be fixed in the future, but in order to use a numeric passcode, 
you have to put it in the Yale app. And speaking of the Yale app specifically, you can have multiple locks here. Of course, if you have the Wi-Fi module, then you'll be able to control it remotely. You see here, I only have Bluetooth, so I can't do anything in the Yale app with the lock. But here are some of the settings. You can have it auto lock and unlock, auto lock after a certain amount of time that the door is closed, auto unlock once you arrive. And there's also a door sense sensor that you can install. The door sense sensor actually comes in the box and you can install it, but I chose not to because I already have a contact sensor on this door. And again, I'm mainly using with HomeKit. If there's any automations I want, it'll be there. And I don't need the Yale app to know if the door is closed or not. It can just lock and unlock. Again, you can adjust the volume level on the keypad settings, and you have a few other customizations there. And if you have the Bluetooth only version like I do, you will have to be close to the lock in order to adjust these settings for them to sync. If you do want to add the Wi Fi module after the fact, it's about $85. It just slots into the top of the lock. Really convenient to install. I'm going to hold off on getting this for right now. Again, I'm mainly using HomeKey to enter and the keypad to unlock, so I think I'm good. I'll put links to the Wi Fi module down in the description and the specific lock I got because there are actually lots of models to choose from and it's a little confusing. So if you go to the Yale page, you have the Yale Assure Lock 2, the Yale Assure Lock 2 Touch, and then the Yale Assure Lock 2 Plus. Now to make it simple, if Home Key is your priority, the Lock 2 Plus is the lock to get. It's the only lock that has Home Key. The other ones have Home Kit, but not Home Key. And then you can choose Bluetooth and or Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, then the module will come with the lock. Of course, you could buy that separately. You have the black suede and satin nickel option. If you go with just Bluetooth, you're looking at about $200 on Amazon. Now, if you want more options than just home key, you can get the Yale Assure Lock 2 Touch. This one actually has a fingerprint reader in the Yale symbol, so you can unlock with just your finger. Again, you have the option for just Bluetooth and or Wi-Fi, and you can choose to get a key-free version, or if you do want that physical key option, you can get that here. This one comes in three colors, adds a bronze finish, and again, you can add to home kit, but not home keys. So if you want the ability to tap your watch or your phone and unlock the door, this is not gonna work. This is just physical key, keypad, home kit app, Yale app, and fingerprint reader. You also have an option for the Yale Assure Lock 2, just regular. This also works with home kit. You can still get keyed or unkeyed, but no fingerprint sensor and no home key. You're only gonna be saving about $20 if you go with this option. And again, if you have Apple devices, you really want home key. So I would not look at the Lock 2. If fingerprint is a priority, the Lock 2 Touch is a good option. But if you want home key, again, this is the one to get. Now, it would be nice if there was a version with both home key and a fingerprint sensor. I do like that. And the Akara U100 that I tested before, I can link the review down in the description. That actually has a fingerprint sensor, physical key option, touch keypad, and home key. Basically has everything. One update though, I do find that the four AA batteries die pretty quickly. I've gotten a low battery warning twice since installing it, which has just been a few months ago. And so you're gonna have to change it probably four to five times a year for the Akara lock. Now this Yale lock remains to be seen. I got the Bluetooth version because the Wi-Fi might actually cause the batteries to drain even faster. So I'm gonna see if this Bluetooth only model gives me a little more usage out of those four AA's. But of course I'll be updating on all the smart home stuff, so subscribe to the channel and I'll let you know how the battery life is long term. Overall, if you get the model that I did, it's a great option for home key, one of the more inexpensive options around $200. Personally, I love the numeric keypad option and this is a really discreet design that can go on even your front door, exterior door, wherever. Again, I'll put links down in the description to get this lock and the Wi-Fi module if you'd like. Also, you can check out my Akari U100 review down there. And I have an entire smart home tour update coming soon. If you wanna see my original tour, one of my most viewed videos actually, you can check out this video above and subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna be doing an updated tour. The tour will include some of these new locks, some smart shades that I've gotten, and a bunch of other devices that I've updated to since that last smart home tour. Also, you can follow me on Threads, X, Mastodon, and Instagram, all pretty much the same name. I'll put those links down in the video description if you'd like to follow me there. And there's lots of other device reviews and Apple automations and shortcuts up on the channel. And YouTube thinks you're really gonna love this video down here, so you should check that out.